Welcome, Grade 10. This is English 102, New Language Leader, Unit 8.4, Study and Writing Skills. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to evaluate different ways of remembering vocabulary, identifying the structure of stories, use time expressions, Use adjectives to make stories more interesting. Write a story. Paying attention to structure, time expressions and adjectives that add interest. Before we start, let's check your memory. Do you think you have a good memory? Mm. What is your earliest memory? Can you remember your first day at school? What things are you good at remembering? What things are you bad at remembering? Do you have any techniques for remembering things? Study skills. Remembering vocabulary. We tend to forget things very quickly, especially words. Look at the list of words below for one minute. Memorize as many words as you can in this amount of time. Next, get out a sheet of paper. Without looking at the list, give yourself one minute to write down as many words from the list as you can. 9. Plugs Army Clock Disc Switch Lamp Bank Horse Grub Cell Apple Fire, color, find, ring, table, hold, baby, bird, love, contro, worm, sword, rock. How many words did you get correct? Despite having one minute to memorize the words, you may have found it surprisingly difficult to recall even a handful of words. The experiments demonstrate some of the limitations of short-term memory. According to researcher George A. Meller, the typical storage capacity for short-term memory is seven words, plus or minus two items. However, memory rehearsal strategies such as grouping can significantly increase memorization and recall. Look at the new list of words below for one minute. Read the words from left to right. Try to memorize as many words as you can in just one minute. Next. Get out another sheet of paper and without looking at the list, give yourself one minute to write down as many words from the list as you can.
How many words did you get correct? Because the given words are organized in groups, our brain finds it much easier to memorize them. This technique is very useful in the context of language learning as it helps students build up their vocabulary with ease. Because the given words are organized into groups based on the meaning, our brain finds it much easier to memorize them. This technique is very useful in the context of language learning as it helps students remember newly acquired words and build up their vocabulary with ease. Another way we can remember words is by imagining them in a particular place. You first read those words and then you link them to certain places. These places will function as images, stimuli, which will help you remember the initial words. So, when you try to recall those words, you first remember those places. And right after that, your brain will help you remember the initial word or words. This technique is called association. You associate link words with to specific places that will help your brain memorize them. Look at the words below. They are about different kinds of jobs. Police officer, bus driver, teacher, shop assistant, firefighter, engineer, baker, astronomer, cleaner. As you can see, Associating these different jobs with their respective places is a very effective technique. It helps you better understand the meaning of words in context and, in particular, remember them. Now, choose to focus on one of the above jobs. If you choose, for instance, the firefighter, you are definitely going to associate him, her, with a fire station. This association will help you better remember its meaning and memorize it, or save it in your brain. Overall, this means that grouping words into different topics or semantic fields and associating them with certain places help our brain memorize them and refer back to them whenever it's necessary. Now, choose the same job, firefighter, but imagine the same person in different place at home, for instance. The new associations, connections, you have just made will also help you strengthen your memory. Writing stories is another effective technique which can help us remember new words. Use the words below to write a story. Notice that all these words were covered in Unit 7, body, damage, darkness, dream, security guard, tired, prefer, museum, presentation, weekend, sleep, brain. Last weekend, I had a presentation at a local museum. It was about whether animal could sleep and dream. The security guard seemed to be extremely interested in what I was saying. He asked me about the importance of sleeping in dark places and the damage that could happen to our brain if we do not sleep well. 
I told him that most living beings prefer darkness because it helps the body to get tired and go to sleep. In addition to helping us remembering new words, writing stories is very effective technique to nourish our imagination and improve our creativity skills. The more words you know, the smarter you grow, and the smarter you grow, the more creative you become. Read the following story in March heading A to D to paragraphs 1 to 3. A. Later events. B. Final events or conclusion. C. Background information. D. First events. 1. One day last December, we went on a camping trip in Hwar Island. The weather was beautifully warm and sunny with a few puffy white clouds passing by. We first set up our tent next to one of the sandy beaches as many parents enjoy everything about the sea. That evening we saw other campers arriving late and trying to set up their tents in the dark. 2. On our second day, the clouds look bigger than normal, and by midday we could hear the rumble of thunder growing louder in the distance. We saw some of the other campers running around into all direction. They seemed frightened. We wisely took the hand and rushed to finish preparing our dinner. Then we picked things up and got into the tent. Just as it began to rain cats and dogs, rain had not stopped for almost ten hours. We did enjoy the beautiful sounds it made while it was gently falling on our tent. At first, we stayed we started to talk about how wonderful camp camping on Hwar Island was and one by one we fall all asleep. 3. The next day we visited some nearby campers and kindly offered them our help. My father explained that they did not have to worry as the area was safe and the weather was fine. They all seemed to enjoy their stay and happily invited us to join them for a cup of fred tea, which was such a lovely experience. We exchanged a countless number of funny stories and jokes. We even went back home together on the same boat. Our trip was really amazing. Suggested answer. A. Later events. Paragraph 2. B. Final events or conclusion. Paragraph 3. C. Background information. Paragraph 1. D. Fast events. Paragraph 1. Now, read the story again and underline all the verbs that are in the past, all time expressions and all adjectives. You may use three colours, blue for verbs, red for time expressions and green for adjectives.
Please check your answers. As you can see in the above sample story, to write an effective narrative text, you need to consider the following. 1. Use a clear structure that includes some background information about the story, such as time, place, people involved, some first events, some later events, and an ending or a conclusion. 2. Use verbs that are in the past, the past simple, basically, or the past continuous, or the past perfect when necessary. 3. Use adjectives to make the description of events, places or people more interesting. 4. Be creative and try to constantly grab the attention and interest of the reader. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you.